Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Norton, the host of Tech Thing, and I'm on Digital Trends today with some apps that can help speed up your PC for free. Does Windows feel a little slower than it used to be? Sometimes it's a sign that it's time to add more memory, upgrade that old hard drive to an SSD, or just give up on that aging machine and upgrade to something new and flashy. But before you do that, try out these apps. They just might speed up Windows for you for free. One of my favorites, it's called Smart Defrag 4. Here's the deal, when you use a hard drive, the regular spinning kind, the data gets broken into pieces and anywhere the drive has open space, it gets stuffed. This is called fragmenting. Picture stashing encyclopedias anywhere in the library, you can find enough empty space on a shelf to chuck it. When your computer goes to look for the data, it has to jump all over the hard drive to find the pieces. It'd be nice if the encyclopedia or your data was all placed in sequential order in one place on the drive. The head or the librarian just zips over there and chucks the whole set on the cart instead of running all around. That process is called defragmenting. There's a defragging tool built into Windows it's okay, it's better than it used to be, but it's still slow. IOBit Smart Defrag 4 is much faster at defragging a drive. Just be careful when you install it that you uncheck any boxes trying to install other apps at the same time that you don't want. That's, by the way, a good habit anytime you're installing a new app. Now, you don't want to ever defrag a solid state drive and avoid apps that tell you that they're defragging your SSD to speed it up. Don't do that. What you do want is the trim command turned on in Windows. That should already be happening if you're running an updated version of Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10. One last thought about hard drives. If you filled your SSD over like 75%, you're probably slowing it down. And if Windows is panicking and telling you, you have like eight megabytes left, copy what you can onto another drive, then run an app like Pureform CC Cleaner. Not for reg edits, not a big fan of registry cleaning, but Pureform CC Cleaner Free has a great tool in it to find files you can delete from your hard drive to make more space. Got your drive sorted? Update your drivers. Drivers are the programs, the bits of code that enable Windows to use Wi-Fi, the CPU's chipset, and all the other hardware that makes up a PC. New GPU drivers can make an amazing difference on the performance of your favorite 3D games, especially the latest ones. You can check your PC manufacturer's website or figure out all the hardware in your system and root all over the internet, find the website for each one, Intel, Nvidia, AMD, Broadcam, and on and on. Or save yourself a ton of time with a tool like Slimware Utilities Slim Drivers. That's slimwareutilities.com or IOBit's Driver Booster. That's at iobit.com. They're free, they'll automatically scan your system, figure out what hardware you have, and help you download and install it. By the way, if you're a gamer with a serious 3D GPU, let me say it again. You need to update those drivers regularly to get the most out of your games. Now, did your Windows box slow down all of a sudden, like drop off a cliff? You might notice weird pop-up ads, toolbars, or apps you don't remember installing. Maybe you type in a web address and get taken somewhere completely differently than what you wanted. Maybe after your teenager downloaded some new apps or went browsing places they shouldn't have. That's a sign that you might have malware or a virus infesting your machine. They'll often chew up clock cycles, take up memory that your apps actually need to run fast. Ergo, they just sort of dogpile your machine and slow it down. At the very least, you should have Windows Defender on your PC. It's pre-installed with Windows 10 and Windows 8 should have nagged you to install it if you don't have any other antivirus or anti-malware installed. Avast, Malware Bytes, and Bitdefender are all good antivirus, anti-malware options. In any case, click on Start, type in Defender or whatever AV app is installed in your PC, click on the Update tab, and make sure you hit the Update button and get the latest virus definitions. That way, spyware virus up to date and it can scan your machine and hopefully, well, you don't have any nasty stuff in there, but if you do follow the directions to remove it, rooting out nasty piles of spyware and malware can make an unusable machine sing. It's ridiculous. By the way, keeping your AV up to date will help keep that from happening again. Automatic updates, people. Now, I love it when I'm not waiting for my PC to catch up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Patrick Norton for Digital Trends.